Hello friends, welcome to another episode of our US series. In this episode, we'll take you to the west stream of Grand Canyon, the natural wonder of this extraordinary world. From Las Vegas, one morning, we went to a day trip to the west stream of the Grand Canyon. At the west stream of Grand Canyon, there is a skywalk. Skywalk is a platform made with glass, and you can see the sheer drop of 4,000 feet from the platform down the Grand Canyon. That was very scary. You have to walk very slowly on the platform. And to be honest, I was getting vertical from that platform. Fantastic place. We had an amazing experience. It was a once in lifetime opportunity and we really enjoyed the Grand Canyon too. Hope you'll enjoy this extraordinary natural wonder of this world through our video. You wouldn't believe the incredible day trip we had from Las Vegas to the west stream of the Grand Canyon. Our first stop was at Lake Mead. Lake Mead is in the southwestern United States, primarily within the states of Nevada and Arizona. It was formed by the impoundment of the Colorado River by the Hoover Dam. Our visit to Lake Mead was calm and peaceful. The lake's blue waters, surrounded by desert and mountains, created a beautiful and serene scene, offering a relaxing break from our journey through the rugged southwest. The lake is known for its stunning desert scenery, colorful rock formations, and clear blue water set against the backdrop of surrounding desert. Our visit to Hoover Dam on the way to the Grand Canyon West Rim was truly fascinating. The Hoover Dam is a massive structure that stands tall, holding back the powerful Colorado River. It was constructed during the 1930s, a long time ago, with the primary purpose of generating electricity and providing water for farmers. Seeing the dam up close was impressive. It constructed with enormous rocks and required a tremendous amount of hard work to build. We discovered that it's vital for producing electricity and ensuring water supply for people living in the dry desert region like Las Vegas. As an extra treat, we crossed a remarkable arch bridge nearby. From there, we enjoyed breathtaking view of the Hoover Dam and surrounding area. This bridge, called the Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge, not only provides a fantastic vantage point, but also helps reduce the traffic on the dam itself. It was a memorable stop on our journey to witness the Grand Canyon's beauty. The Grand Canyon, one of the world's most awe-inspiring natural wonders, is a geological masterpiece that stretches over 277 miles in length, with depth plunging to more than a mile. The rocks found in the Grand Canyon are estimated to be between 1.2 billion and 250 million years old. Carved by the relentless force of the Colorado River over millions of years, the iconic Chisholm showcase, a breathtaking mosaic of rock layers, revealing the Earth's geological history like an open book. The sheer scale, vibrant colors, and profound beauty make it a must-visit destination for nature enthusiasts and adventurers from around the world. The Grand Canyon West Rim is located on the Haulapa Indian Reservation in northwestern Arizona, near the town of Peach Spring. It's about 190 kilometers from Las Vegas, making it a popular day trip destination from the city. To be honest, it was one of the best day trip that we ever done in our life. We briefly visited Haulapai Ranch, 
a recreated old western style village where visitors can experience cowboy shows, horseback riding and western style dining. We explored some Native American cultural exhibits and the shop there. It adds a touch of western history and culture to your Grand Canyon visit before taking a shuttle bus rides to the viewpoints of Canyon. Eagle Point is another prominent viewpoint at the West Rim. It is named after a rock formation that resembles an eagle in flight. No word can describe the 3D view of the canyon. You must feel it being present at the site. We visited Las Vegas and Grand Canyon in late June and it was an extremely hot day with 44 degrees centigrade. So walking around the site for four hours in scorching sun was not very comfortable. But this was once in a lifetime opportunity, so we couldn't give a miss. The formation of the Grand Canyon is primarily attributed to the erosive power of the Colorado River, which has been carving through the layers for millions of years. The process of canyon formation is ongoing and the river continues to shape and expose new layers. Our visit to the Grand Canyon West Rim provided us a chance to witness these geological wonders up close and appreciate the immense time scale and forces that has been shaping this iconic natural wonder. The Grand Canyon also holds some geological mysteries, such as the Great Unconformity, where a significant gap in the rock is observed, hinting a long period of missing geological history. One of the most iconic attractions at the Grand Canyon West Rim is the Skywalk, a horseshoe-shaped glass bridge that extends out over the canyon's edge. It provides a thrilling and vertigo-inducing experience, allowing visitors to look straight down to the canyon floor, nearly 4,000 feet below. I took the tour, but I needed to walk very slowly over the glass, and the professional photographers on the bridge will never allow you to take any camera up there. So I took the walk, and Orunima took some photos using a long zoom. Although I couldn't look at the bottom of the canyon for more than two to three seconds, I was getting vertigo. It was really scary and I was feeling nausea. To be honest, it was a bit scary, but it was wonderful. This was a memorable experience, an experience that we wanted to explore for so many years. Wish we had a bit more time at the site. But it was too hot and we were walking for 4-5 hours so couldn't do any more. And we had to move on as there are a few more cities to cover on this trip. Please stay tuned for the next episode of our US series. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Goodbye until the next video.